Green Party here in Sweden, they came up with this brilliant thing. They want water to be more expensive. And I have good news about puppet globalist politicians not doing very well. No, I got a bad stomach ache back in 2008. And I then I started to study this stuff. And I don't know uh, anything like you do, but I, I did understand this thing about acidity and that you have to do something about it. So I started eating uh, broccoli and spinach, just like you told me now, yeah. And I was doing, you know, I put spinach in a, in a pot with water and I boiled it and I drank the water. I was doing this stuff and uh, it cured me totally. And I haven't been, I haven't had any problems since then. Oh, by the way, I'm not posting this video on YouTube. I don't know if you are. So I've, I feel okay to just say what I want. Uh, I will be posting it on Rumble. So, Yeah. Yeah, what, whatever. I, I'll, uh, we normally post to YouTube. We, I, I think I'm one of the very few truth channels that's left. Oh yeah, uh, following what's what's been going on. I, there were some wonderful channels. Um, amazing Polly, she was great. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, even D D David Ike is. You know, he was one of the first to go and and. It was simply because some of these platforms, I'm saying no names, they just have they have a set of rules and they're they're quite in that respect, they're quite fair, because if you don't break them, then you don't lose your platform, right? So we just developed a way of speaking that didn't uh, is kind of abstract, but everybody knows what what like what you're talking about, and that, that's why we <laughs> That's why we're still here. Uh, All right. Uh, so I understand. So yeah. I will try to, to fit into this. So I was talking to my dad, and he's, uh, he totally bought this, this whole thing. And we were discussing this. And I was so surprised about this because, and then I asked him about his childhood. Right. And I asked him, I mean, what happened? You got sick, right? And you, but you were pretty, pretty healthy, weren't you, right? And then you had a pretty good life, didn't you? And I talked about the immune system and you know, getting dirty and meeting people and, and this, all this stuff. And it was like, it was like I, I saw that he remembered this, this, you see? But then I saw how he just flicked over to the narrative and thought, no, 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 I have to isolate. You know, I'm, I'm telling people to wear the diaper and everything and you know, taking this thing is the best thing I can do. But there was, a, there was a moment, a brief moment, where he was actually thinking and remembering this thing about uh, uh, getting involved with other people and that this could be a good thing. And this, this is how he was raised. You know. So he had this knowledge already, but he just forgot about it. Uh, I was very uh, surprised, and it was tragic to to see this. Was there anything in particular that that got you, you know, that piqued your interest and got you to start looking at life in a different way? Yeah, yeah, there was actually a, a very clear moment when this happened, and. I was uh, 20 years old, actually, and I, I was getting involved in uh, health, I mean, vitamins and minerals you know, in, the, in that business. Not, not really hard, but I was into it at the time. And, uh, and then there was uh, something happened here in Sweden. That was, uh, the, they, they wanted to regulate vitamins and minerals. And I totally understood this was destructive and evil and I understood that they are doing it for profit and I also saw how media was dealing with this and it, uh, it brought me to real, this realization that uh, media will actually 
say whatever they pay them to say. And these guys who are doing it, they are not doing it for, well, they are not really interested in your health. They are just interested in your money and they are actually interested in you being sick. I think in general, Swedes are, well, they are, they don't want it. They don't like it. No. What's it like in England? Uh, it's, it's kind of a mix. So, for example, you've still got people doing it now. Like you even still see people uh, sitting in a bus stop all on their own. Like there's nobody for, you know, well, you're, you're maybe I'm running past or something. They're just quite happy to sit there. I just asked myself the question, like, I can't talk to you. You know, I literally as an adult, I'm 52 years old. I don't, I don't want to pretend that I'm friends with someone. I can't talk to you. You don't have to like understand what I'm saying. You don't have to buy into it, but like, I should be able to talk to you. And yet, you know, I had friends who literally, you just couldn't talk about life. And I want to talk about life. I've, you know, I've traveled the whole planet many times over. I, I love life. I, I like, I think it's fascinating. I don't like being screwed over by the NWO. I, you know, I don't believe things just fall out the sky. Well, not, not for the reasons they're given. Cause I've got something called intent, you know, a bit of intelligence. And yet if you're calling me your friend and I can't talk to you about this, they can't even talk. You, you start the conversation. It's like, oh, oh, that's all that fucking stupid. It's, uh, and and it just made me realize that it, no malice whatsoever, Stefan. I will, I love these people. And I always will. I have nothing, but I just thought like, I don't want to spend my time with you anymore. I'm sorry. Were people like going along with it? Were people angry that Sweden wasn't doing what the rest of the world was? How, how so, was it? Some were. Yeah. It was a big difference between the cities and, and the countryside. Uh and I, I was talking about this the other day, actually, uh, with a friend. And where I, where I live, uh, it was very hard to find people wearing this underpants on their faces. It was hard to find them. There were very, very few. So, and still, the authorities strongly recommended people to wear them. And I was very happy to see this. People, people didn't buy it. They didn't want it. And uh, in the city, it was different. It was like, maybe, maybe it was like, uh, I don't know the numbers, but it was different. You know, I went into Stockholm at one point and I saw that there were more people there wearing this diaper. Yeah. I, I, uh, yeah. I also went to see my father in Stockholm. He was taken into hospital. This was during the time when it was, really tough you know the the pressure from the authorities and from media was incredible and everybody should wear the diaper you know uh, in in the hospital and uh, uh, we came there to see my father and they handed me and my girlfriend we came and they handed us the diaper and this uh visor you know this is what you should wear and I didn't put them on, and my girlfriend did. And she was wearing it for maybe 30 seconds, and then she took it off because she couldn't talk. You know, we can... <laughs> yeah. And the, the nurse came back in, and she saw that we weren't wearing, wearing the stuff, and she didn't say anything. So I, I never wore it. I would never wear it. 